Oh, what? Oh, there's so many things just happened to me in my brain at once. Cannot comprehend, guys. Wait. I'm so greedy that I want to be in a perfect mood, but when am I, am I gonna be ready for this? I don't know. I don't think I will be, so I honestly just should just do it, right? I'm already a week late, and I've been stalling for three days now since I'm home. Let's just watch this again, so I can absorb myself into this. This, by the way, got the full song. This has a full song now on her uh, Spotify. The, the, the single that came out has two songs, the title and this, and it has a full three-minute song. Fucking excited to listen to that as well because this sounds so fucking good already. I'm ready, Kappa. Nice, nice one. I'm ready to get this, ready to get this, ready to get this thing. Oh man. Oh, good and test me, or mother and chase me to your gone up to get this. You know, I told the story yesterday. I'm gonna see We on Life and have like the, the best ticket you can ever have for that concert. I'm fucking excited, but still. In terms of female soloists, nobody goes better than Chong Ha, in my opinion. She's just the best female soloist. And I saw her live, and when I saw her live, I was like, yep, I'm correct. <laughs> like, I, it, there's no other choice here. You're so wrong, Ghosty. Oh my god, that fucking... I forgot the visuals of this are so good. She's honestly peak soloist when it comes to career. There ain't ever gonna be a better soloist than Chonga. Like, sure, there's the IUs, the Taeyongs and stuff. They're amazing. But they're not doing the stuff that Chonga's doing. I don't know how to explain, but the versatility and the almost um, genius behind what she's doing in her career and how she's performing it. Um, not actually just literally performing, but also just how she's bringing over the 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 vibes the emotions and, and the songs and stuff even in videos like this to me is one of a kind honestly oh talking about female soloists particularly i think the only other one i can think of that has that as well is cl not even hala can come close to that in my opinion It's arguable Hannah is maybe a better performer, but that's kind of subjective because they're both great. Ah oh, shit, man, this has this is the teaser, right, for the song about to. Oh god damn it, man! I'm not ready, guys. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? No, this is not the song I was thinking of. This sounds good. Yeah, this sounds fucking amazing. This ending is, by the way, the teaser for the, the title. So everything until that. It sounds so good, man. It sounds like. Just what I want, you know, from Chonga. Anyway, let's do this again. Eeny meeny, not again, but let's 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 just do it. <laughs> Why did I say again? I don't know. <sighs> you think of Eeny meeny, so you don't like Eeny meeny. Okay, that's fair. Um, so Hong Jung of 80s featuring uh, once again, uh, Chonga is the one that did reach out to him and wanted him to to partake in this, and she thought he would never accept, but he gladly did because he really likes. Chang'e or admires her at least, um, and that whole interaction is super, super cute. Um, yeah, this is her new channel that she got for uh, her more vision um, activities. Already now at 200,000 subs, this video has 14 million views, 271,000 likes. Also pretty good, actually. Could be a bit better, but actually this is this is decent, honestly, honestly decent. 14 million views, Jesus fucking Christ! How many uh, streams do we have here so far? Probably around 2 million, I would guess. 1.5 and 1 million for I'm Ready. Okay. So this is a bit more hip-hop based, I think. Based on the... I, I watched I'm Ready. I literally just did it again. But I also watched it before already. So I'm aware that this sounds very hip-hop-y. Uh, which I, makes it even worse for me. We're going to definitely watch this twice. So just prepare yourselves. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I might pause a lot. I will probably, but let's see. In my opinion, the best two female solos are Sami and Chonga. Sami is a good pick, but she's not been active enough. I mean, Chonga arguably also hasn't, but not her fault. Sheesh. The beat is already there. Ooh. 
Hold up, that outfit is interesting. Kind of, kind of adds a little bit to my point of what I just said earlier, right? Comparing her to CL a little bit in how expressionist she is as a soloist. Man, and those bangs are very thick. Like she has not really had that thick bangs, right? She usually has to see through bangs or like a little bit on the lighter part. This is pretty almost, I want to say, like gothic esque. The hairstyle. Could have been the angle though. Uh huh. I cannot say I like the beginning so far because it's literally an intro to me. I don't think this is the song quite yet, or like like at least it it didn't start yet to me personally. This is just like the introduction. Like this is like you have another twenty seconds to get ready to be beaten to death or something. Uh huh. Tell me. God, she looks so good. Oh. Ah. Uh, she actually is the cyborg. Oh, what? Oh, there's so many things just happened to me in my brain at once. Cannot comprehend, guys. Wait. I was still. Oh, wait. Huh? I'm still stuck up on the outfit. Okay, let's start with that. <laughs> and and the, the look she has here. She looks so fucking cool. Alright, then this is kind of the pre course. Or maybe the course. I, I, I guess it's the course. So cool, the cyborg thing. This is badass, man. She's actually kind of a rapper here. But then this guitar that added, and then her apps. Those, the, 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 the rap vibe, the guitar, all of a sudden, like the Latin guitar, and then her apps. All of those three things hit me at the same time, and I'm not okay right now. Like any, mini, mini, mo. Uh, any, mini. You know that guitar reminds me very oddly of... Shit, what kind of guitar is that? What kind of instrument? This might not even be a guitar, actually. Um, but this reminds me of a, a certain instrument. Let's just say, I'm not sure if it's a guitar or not. We call it a certain instrument. Um, that one of my favorite uh, bands of all time called Infected Mushroom, which is an Israeli uh, duo that do like some crazy fucking music. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, anyone here, but um, they are very, 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 very interesting. And they really use this 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 instrument a lot, the sound. Like a lot, meaning in multiple songs. Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so maybe first impression on the song so far. I feel like it's a little bit disjointed and not so much about music. It's a lot about more presentation here. So I actually think, considering what I expect from Chongha in the near future, I expect her to have an, an album because she still has not posted Bayern Rampa 2. Granted, I don't know if MHN just holds the copyright to all of those songs and she can never publish them, which would suck ass, but could be possible. So I, I still wish that it's not the case and she would just release it eventually, or at least like a remake version of that. But I definitely expect an album to come out in the near future, maybe in like June, July, uh, I would guess. Um, maybe August, like something like that, right? That's probably what I expect. And until then, I think this is a little bit of like a teaser, uh, like her announcement, hey, I'm back, you know? That's why to me, this is not really important if this is a banger song or not. This is just has to be kind of a statement thing. Um, for the K-Hip-Hop people, say kind of what Jackie Y did as well, except Jackie Y has not published anything since then, which is kind of, Missed opportunities here, but yeah. Cause I'm feeling at my best, I ain't taking no less than every kind of flavor of a new sensation. I'm taking so I wanna lose my mind to the rhythm of a new vibration. So cute. Such a cute rap. Alright. I'm taking dubs, so I wanna lose my mind to the rhythm of a new vibration. And I love the the little look down and smile. She's definitely sassy and badass, but she ain't like the street rapper, you know? You, you, you can tell, <laughs> but still cute. 
and also full English, which I mean makes sense. Again, she grew up in America, so um, for her English is very easy, and um, she incorporates it a lot. But yeah, cool. That's the because, yeah. Ah, uh, this is the teaser. Visually, this is dangerous for me. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to focus too much on the visual because I will be so wrecked in my heart if I do that. Some of these dancers have some cool outfits. Interesting. I totally forgot Hongjun exists. <laughs> LOL! Totally forgot he exists. <clears throat> did he did he appear before and I just didn't notice? Is he the guy here? Um, I literally forgot he exists. I should happen, you know? So he's actually even rapping. <laughs> Which makes sense, hip hop song. Damn, he's cool. Hold up, what? Yo, what? That was fast. Yo, he became like triple time right there. Triple time. Triple time in hip uh, in K-pop. I think the only other time I can remember anyone ever doing that is Hanse from from Bigton. In um, it either flipped that coin or um, what I said. I think it's what I said. Interesting. What is RVD? Yeah. All right, that was cool. Very good feature. And that's actually interesting. Point out again, Chonga is very, very keen on features. She had a lot of features, a lot of rappers even feature as well. But you, like, <laughs> how do I say this? I don't think anyone has ever appeared in her video. I'm pretty sure no artist that he, she ever had from, like, as a feature on her songs has ever appeared in, in the video itself. This is the first time. And I guess it's the first time that a, a former, or like ex, what am I saying here? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A co-worker, as in a K-pop idol, um, participates. So the first time a, a K-pop idol actually features on her songs. So maybe that's why. The other few times it was Naxal and Changmo, and someone I forgot as well, and they were never in the video. Realization with a dream, what does that mean? Just pick out like Interesting. Oh, I like the shadow shot. Attitude in that. Ooh. I want to see live performances of this. I definitely want to see live performances about this because this will be something that will be a lot better live. As per usual with Chonga songs, really. Uh, live as in with a performance, I'm saying that. Not live vocal necessarily. <clears throat> it's kind of... Similar to Julie's law. I'm probably too stupid to get that then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I unfortunately don't get that reference. Um, anyway, that is Chongha with Ini Mini featuring Hongju. My bad. Kind of forgot his existence because I was so hyper focused on, on Chongha. Uh, most replayed part is, is Hongju's part. To be fair, it was really cool. Right? It was really, really cool. <laughs> he flows insane here. 
Also some crazy looks and I don't even get that reference uh, to the realization of the dream whatever that is but wow um I want to say yes sure the song itself is it's like a little bit confusing on first impression I mean this is like literally what k-pop in a nutshell is like with a lot of songs like Espa and stuff right for example I'm just gonna say that Espa and Mix are like good examples of um pretty confusing first impressions to songs because they're so complex on a level where it doesn't make sense at all on first impression in terms of a song um, structure or maybe even like a, the flow of the song. It's just so messy, um, on purpose messy. But again, I love that she's back, obviously. Um, she looks fantastic. She is definitely not as at home uh, in the hip hop, mm, what do I say, hip hop uh, genre as I would expect i actually thought it was gonna be a little bit more natural to her but it, it it ended up looking more cute and adorable than it really did look badass whenever she was trying to rap um i don't know if that's on purpose as well because it's an eeny money mo song maybe it's just trying to be a bit adorable and and, and and cheeky anyway on purpose it could be um but i'm first impression basis i'm just gonna say it's probably that she tried hard a little bit but it didn't really turn out the well uh, that she's actually as bad of a rapper as she thought she would be. <laughs> um, I thought her rap part in Bicycle was probably the best one yet, and definitely a lot more rap-esque than this one here. Um, still cool, and I'm honestly a bit more excited now to check out the I'm Ready full song than uh, I am for Inimini Ini as a song. That could also be a big reason why this uh, I'm Ready song has so many plays um, even though the Ini Mini is the title, and usually titles have like exponentially more plays. Here you can see I'm Ready it has a lot of plays as well. Probably means that people like I'm Ready a lot, and maybe even more than Ini Mini. Which, fair enough, right? Uh, I'm Ready sounded a lot more like a normal Chongha song, what you would expect from her, um, than this. But once again, as a title, this is fine. Uh, this probably has a similar place in my uh, heart, in a way, I would say. Uh, like a super lady from Idol has. Where the title track serves a purpose, but it ain't my favorite, you know? Um, I would even go to the point where this could be one of my least favorite Chonga title tracks. However, it has a big meaning for me personally that she's finally back, and also she just looks great. It's the beginning of a new chapter, and also, I mean, it's just the recency bias a bit, but I mean, she looks fucking sick, man. Like, come on now. I, I have to be biased here, so that's why it's still a bit higher on the list in terms of her comparing to her other title tracks than it maybe will be at future times. But yeah, that's my reaction to Chonga's Ini Mini. Thank you so much if you watch on YouTube and more Chonga reactions. Uh, I guess more 80s as well in a pinned comment in playlists. Check those out and have a nice day. Peace.